Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Hi there, Loy Macedo. Speaking to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay. Um, today I'll share with you rather something that happened out of the ordinary. Okay. This is a rather extraordinary uh, event. I have always got people who want to collab with me or, you know, be a partner or uh, invest and, uh, you know, sponsor and, you know, there have been some legit ones, some illegal ones, some which sound total BS bullshit to the next level. Like for example, the legit ones are, I'll pay you an X amount of money per month. Every video of yours should have my branding. Now, I've refused to do this because the channel is to brand Loy Macedo. I don't want to brand anyone else. That's number one. Second is, uh, if you're a YouTuber and your YouTube channel is growing or has a decent following, you will receive emails from lots of uh, uh, I wouldn't say the main brand, but the PR companies that are dealing with the brands and they tell you we'll pay you $500, $100, $300, whatever, uh, give, uh, you, you know, talk about our product. Uh, I've been getting uh, some like uh, clothing companies uh, uh, and mainly lately it has been crypto and NFTs and all that. And I don't believe in these products. I don't believe in these services and I refuse to deal with it. Okay. Um, because it, it, I personally, this is just me. If I don't believe in a product and I do not use it, how can I recommend it? I mean, then it's a sellout. Okay. Uh, then, uh, there has also been these gaming companies. I do not know if you know this, uh, there's this, uh, shadow raid legends or some name like that. I had got uh, this thing and they offer a lot of people. Um, uh, they are very aggressive. So they offered me not a very big amount. They said uh, it has to cross a certain number of views. Minimum will be $150. Then uh, if you cross a certain number, we'll give you different slabs. Uh, and they wanted me to state a particular script. They had a particular script. You need to say things exactly this way. I created this character. It was amazing and all that. And I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 uh, I, I just declined it. Okay. And then the illegal ones, um, I got... Uh, a guy who offered a huge sum of money. Uh, I didn't talk about this when it happened because I didn't feel safe about it. But today, obviously, since how many years? I think two years have passed. Um, the amount was for half a million dollars. Okay. Now, it's not that he's going to give me half a million immediately. But uh, that was the total amount, which would be fragmented into months. Uh, the whole deal sounded really, really fishy because he would transfer amounts of money to the bank and I had to do something else. And I, I and the guy was from Africa and he said to prove it, I'll wire the money right now. Right now, you'll get a sum of money in your bank, which will be $50,000 to prove that this is legit. Uh, no, sorry, $10,000 we will wire and prove it to you that it is legit. And I was not comfortable because, see, remember this. Uh, when you're dealing with uh, people with lots of money, they have lots of power and things can go haywire. You have to be very, very careful. And especially when um, you, you know, especially for me, when I've worked so many years, so many hours with so much of effort to reach, maybe not world class status, but somewhere, uh, if I were to make a mistake now, everything will just crumple down. So, and I always have told you this. You're not smarter than the system, okay? So if you do something really big and really illegal, it can backfire. And uh, people are close to me in my groups, they know this. I have I've spoken about this with them privately. This is the first time I'm actually talking publicly, okay? Then obviously there are these bullshit ones that say, oh, I'm uh, working for Google, I'm working for Amazon, I'm dealing with this multi-million dollar brand and all that. Uh, make a video, we will give you X amount of followers, which can be fake and will give you so many views and all that, uh, you know, it's bullshit. Okay. So I told you about these three. However, today I want to tell you about 
a rather shocking one, which was a legit, absolutely legit, uh, angel investor. Uh, he, I, I don't want to give details, and I've taken his permission before even sharing this. Uh, he's based somewhere abroad. He invests a certain amount of money. And uh, uh, obviously, he wants to not only be a partner, but he wants to be like, a, he doesn't want to be visible. But yes, there is the commercials that I know, a lot of uh, dealings that you need to speak to a lawyer and uh, sign up with, you know, promoting certain products or working with certain brands. Okay, whatever. So the, the main thing was, main thing was, he was ready to offer monthly payments for a longer duration. He has been following my channel for quite some time. Uh, there was going to be like a five year and 10 year plan and all that stuff. A lot of it was going to be a very lengthy this thing. Uh, big money. The money was really good. I mean, if but there would be work pressure. Money doesn't come in easy. Let's say, for example, I'm giving for example, let's say he gives $10,000 per month. Okay. But for the $10,000, there's a lot of work involved. These people are not dumb. They have a set agenda. And I just calculated roughly. If I were to accept it, here's the thing. Every day, I would have to work minimum at least 12 hours. Even though he said 8. I know it's 12 hours. 12 hours only for his brand, his whatever company, whatever. Uh, and then, obviously, free time, I could do my other work. Now, he had come with a proposal. And um, he... This is what he suggested. And he told me one thing, Loy, one day you can go viral. You can become very big. You can get, you know, I'm not expecting you to do 100 million uh, subscribers. You might even hit 1 million. Okay. And that is where I actually told him, I'm never going to hit 1 million subscribers. And he was like, why do you say that? Maybe you'll hit a million subscribers. I said, no, I'm not going to hit 1 million subscribers. So, okay, what 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 is a believable number? Seven hundred fifty thousand, half a million. I said no. I I told him, for me to cross hundred thousand subscribers, might take ten years. That is, if I'm alive, if my content is rele uh, relevant, and if people still find me interesting, I may hit May, hundred thousand subscribers after. 10 years. I, I told him 10 years. He said, no, Loy, the way you're growing, I, I see maybe five years or, you know, it can happen even next year. I said, no, no, listen, it's not going to happen next year. It's not going to happen five years. It will take 10 years. The reason being is there's always, you know, ups and downs in subscribers. Okay. He was rather taken aback because he's an angel investor uh, and people always pitch in pitch in, you know, they give you speculative, big, positive, uh, beautiful outcomes and the future forecast, we are going to do this and this will be the next slab and this will be the next year. He's saying, why are you underselling yourself? Why are you selling yourself short? And that is where I told him, I'm not underselling myself. I choose to be realistic. Okay. I choose to be realistic. In fact, what shocked him was, and this is what absolutely shocked him, I actually recommended another channel, another channel which is uh, close to, I think, 18,000, uh, no, 18 or 15,000 subscribers, can't get the exact number. I suggested you contact this guy. He is only 15 or 18,000 subscribers. He will cross 100,000 very soon. I, I strongly believe that. It's better you deal with him. So, after all this, he was... He was seriously taken away. He said, you're the first person. He's saying, among the many people I've met in life, the first person to actually say that I will not achieve this landmark. I will be less. That is number one. Second one is, you're not actually, you know, looking, oh, wow, money, wow. And third one is, I've offered you the money. You're actually offering somebody else. Why? Now, I'm giving you very honest answers. This is not to, you know, say, oh, Loy is such a nice guy, great guy. Oh, no, no. This is about me being realistic. You know, when clients come to me, I sometimes tell them things which really hurt them, which really make them feel very bad. But the reason I do that is because you need to be realistic. You need to tell them as it is. 
people don't pay me money to listen sugar coated stuff and that is what i tell clients listen if you're coming to me to get you know very positive beautiful feel good stuff i'm not a motivational coach i'm not a motivational trainer you can consider me demotivational i am someone who will give it to you on your face and i expect things to be told on my face okay that's number one the second thing is uh what after reaching the age of 45 seeing the ups and downs of life for me to start talking all this uh, salesy bullshit that oh i will get 1 million subscribers sure pay me you know i will be held accountable for my words that is why whenever i put a video i'm very careful what i say because people can dig up the past like for example in india you had this actor what's his name akshay kumar uh, or something uh, he said i will never endorse a uh, you know tobacco product or never endorse a alcohol product i because i believe in good health and i believe in my values and then later on uh, he had said this many many years ago okay and now it seems he appeared on an ad which was featuring some soda which you know carbonated water which indirectly promotes uh, alcohol or he was talking about a beetle uh, to- chewing tobacco and all the uh, people dug up this previous video he said no i'm a man of values and all that and it it really uh, he became a meme he became a uh, laughing stock and then he had to withdraw his statement and uh, he no he said i'll give this money to charity or whatever okay this is the same thing w- what if i were to say something and i do something totally opposite people will one day hold me accountable and i can tell you this being a youtube content creator there are enough and more haters keyboard warriors and people who have nothing else to do in life but to dig up shit so it's not that i am trying to be a holy guy it's not that i am trying to be a nicey nice guy i am very afraid very afraid of doing something wrong which will come back and haunt me that is why even these videos that i speak about women sex everything and people say what if your daughter comes to know about all this i want her to know all this i want her to know how her father was what mistakes he made what are the lessons he learned and you know how he has become a better person i i hold myself accountable to every video thought and if i do make a mistake i tell people i'm sorry i i made a mistake like for example if you check my previous videos i was speaking about you should not have children you should not marry you should enjoy life have fun with girls and i used to even teach this in my coaching classes my my old students my old uh, uh, groups who were there 5 years before before i settled down they like law you have changed so much you know you used to say you know having kids is a mistake and don't have thing you just enjoy life and they've seen how i've become today and i tell the man it was a phase for me it was a phase i didn't think it was necessary and i even apologize and they say no law you you have grown as a person so that is different but i still hold myself accountable there so now what is the gist of the message that i want to give you here i think it's very important for all of us to be realistic it's very very important for us to be realistic about um who we are what we can accomplish what we can do if someone comes and tells me law anything is possible nothing is impossible editors nothing is impossible you can do anything then i ask people okay at the age of 60 or 50 can you become an olympian can you outbox mike tyson can you outrun uh, usain bolt can you become richer than elon musk idiots idiots will say oh anything is possible oh you can do anything yeah why don't you jump from here to the moon if it's possible elon musk is saying oh we will have a colony in mars yeah it sounds very nice reality is not possible it is not possible if it is possible to set up and create life on mars then do it here on earth no where there is already oxygen and water and food so we need to be realistic about things like for example people say oh i can win a lottery so why not i'll buy a lottery ticket yeah the, yes you can win a lottery can is an ability the possibility is it's not going to happen it's not going to happen a chance or a luck of one in a billion or more than a billion or one in one is to 100 billion it's not being practical that is why i tell people hope is not a strategy luck is not a strategy when you're doing be realistic 
Now, can my channel one day shoot up to 100,000 subscribers? Maybe, maybe. But that is me shooting and hoping for luck. Realistically, when I see the numbers, one subscriber per day or two subscribers and one leaves or three subscribers a day, I know for a fact this might take 10 years. And maybe I'll still not achieve after 10 years. Uh, it depends. Uh, would people still like me? Would my content be relevant? Would I be relevant? Would I be in good health? Just assuming that, oh, everything is going to go perfect. I made $100,000 uh, uh, this year, net profit. Next year, sure, $100,000. Well, guess what? A black swan event like uh, COVID can happen and everything can be destroyed. So bottom line, I would say it's very important for you and me, for anyone to be realistic, to take things in real value and stop the bullshit of one day I can be uh, what? Um, uh, a Miss India, Miss Universe, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, that uh, lingerie, uh, the thing, I can't get its name. Yeah, I can be that model, you know, catwalk and all that. I can be Oprah, I can be uh, a billionaire, millionaire, successful. We need to be realistic. Look at where you are now. Have a goal for tomorrow, have a goal for next month. Keep at it, step by step, one at a time. And that's called being realistic. Having dreams is great. We all have dreams when we sleep. But when you wake up, that is your reality. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Good, bad, ugly. Love to hear from you. It's me signing off. You guys take care.